Well guys, welcome back to another episode. I got home from school today and this came in the mail. Um, let's check it out. Mystery tackle box. Um, open here. Oh look. They have like a derby thing. Let's see, 6 inch for panfish, 12 for trout. Let's see, catch a fish. Let's see, catch a fish using one of the baits in the box. Use the ruler below to see if you have a keeper. Share a picture of your fish on Instagram using the hashtag M2B Keeper. So, cool. We're going to go over some of the baits. Um, looks like we got this spoon right here. Looks pretty cool. This um, little, come on. I don't know. See, I'm not going to take it out of the box. It's a little, like, mini crankbait or something. Then we got these little, I don't know, little tube things. They're blue and they're scented. Got these snaps. And we got these small hooks. And just so you know, I've already opened this box and went through all the baits. And um, last but not least, we got these um, swim baits right here by Zeman. And I know they make good bass lures and they make chatter baits too. And we'll see. What was really cool was the sticker. Let me try to find it here. Oh, well, yeah, the sticker's right here. This is a really cool sticker. But today, we're not going to be catching at least, and we're going to be keeping because here. On the Teals and Reels channel, we fish for food. Well, of course, we release bass. Oh, Dad's getting a bite. So anyways, right now, I'm going to be using um, these. I'm going to start trolling these little blue tubes with the red hooks and these snaps. What's really cool about these snaps is that, I don't know, I love snaps. They're like, they're really handy for you instead of like tying them on. But in the mystery, I've never got... Oh! Got a fish. No, it's right in the boat. It was while well, I had a fish. You know, but it was wrapped around the boat. Trying to record. It works. Trolling a little too, but it works. So, anyways, where it was, like, oh yeah, I've already opened this box and I was explaining the the snaps here. These are really cool snaps. You just snap it on there, and then like you pinch the, you tie it around the little eye right there. Don't know if you can see that. Here, I, I'll do like, um, I'll, I'll explain more later when we're done fishing, but this is like a quick explanation right there. So yeah, we're going to, I have this tied on, the hooks, and then yeah, I'm trying out these tubes, and then once I catch a fish in the tube, I think I might try this, then maybe the spoon, and then maybe this little crankbait right here. It's pretty cool. It's made in Japan, so let's get right into the fishing. Well, guys, five minutes later, I caught my first fish. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there on the blue little tube right there with the red hook and the cool snap so three baits down and only one fish and that means i only got two more baits left so yay but i don't think he qualifies for the derby thing he's like a 10 incher so i think you know what i'm not gonna switch i'm gonna try to catch like a 12 or 13 inch trout and then i'll switch well guys i just had um uh, just lost a 10 inch trout i was using this some pink Z-Man weren't. I don't have a big enough hook, so this is how I'm rigging it up. It's just going to be dangling there, and the, the, um, the swim bait is just going to be hanging on the line there. It's a pretty weird way to rig a swim bait, but it works. I don't know. It's not going to count unless we get the fish in the boat and we get it on video. Then I'll count that as part of the MTV Slam. Well, guys, I, this lure is down this little crankbait right here. It's a Japanese lure. See, look how I hooked him right there. Never coming off. He jumped like five times. The thing was, I wasn't. I, we were just trolling it, you know. But what I would do is that I would yank the rod like I'm saying the hook, even though there's no fish on it. And as the, it was just like floating up, you know, like I would speed it up, and then like this flack, I would just like so slowly like float up, and then they would hit it. So, see, this is what I did to catch that fish. I, I was just trolling it, you know, and then I would go like that like just randomly because I was dinking off and then like as it's slowly rising up to the surface yeah. they would hit it and then now my dad has one on he's just using a pink worm
Oh, I got one too. Double. Doubles. Yeah. Oh, the dink. I think I'm gonna let him go. Oh, it's got some nice colors on him. <clears throat> Man, he's gonna stack. Alright, guys, I'm hooked up. Little Japanese crankbait. It's a dink, though, but. Man, he choked it. Oh my gosh, man. He choked it. Look at that. Choked it. Yeah, I can't let this guy go. His mouse is going to be all messed up. Look at that. He choked it. Ow. Boom. That's like... I don't know. I don't know how many trouts. Alright guys, we are back home now. And now we're going to go over some of the base in the box. Um, one of the base I used today was the Z-Man Extra Tough, 10 times Extra Tough, Pink Swim Baits. Um, unfortunately, I did not catch any fish on these because I did not have the right size hooks with me, even though I did get tons of bites, like, literally every five seconds I got a bite, and these are just really amazing. They are guaranteed to catch you a lot of fish, so I totally recommend, recommend these 100%. I might have to pick one of these up when I go to the store next time. The next, um, the hooks that I used were these, um, True Turn Blood Reds, um, hooks. They're, um, what are they? I don't know. I'm not a hook expert, obviously. They're True Turn, and apparently those are really good, and they're Blood Red, and, uh, let's see, the prices for those were, those Blood Red hooks were $1.92, and, oh yeah, and the Pink Swim Baits were 5 bucks. And, um, let's see... The lure that I caught most of my fish on was this um, Japanese style, I think it's like a crankbait. It's a miniature crankbait. I mean, literally, the hooks are like razor sharp on here. I mean, they're like the sharpest thing in the world. I mean, they're, yeah, like really sharp. Yeah. But the problem with these is that you can't really catch really these fish with them because once you hook them, I mean, they're just going to like mess up their mouth. They're so sharp. It's just like, it's cruel to release them. I mean, you have to keep them. Which is the only, like, con, like, the, um, you know, pros and cons stuff. It's basically the only con to this bait. Then, um, we got the sweet little sticker here. That, and there's swim bait stuck to it. Sweet little sticker. Um, I think I'm going to be saving this in my, um, somewhere. Because I I don't own a sticker like this. And if I get, like, a duplicate, then I'll stick it on my car or something. Then um, we got the tubes. I caught one fish on here. They're really, they're scented, I believe. They're solid body tubes. Are they scented? It doesn't list that they're scented, but I think they're scented. H&H &H Tournament Tackle. I I know they make really good crappie gear, and these do look like crappie tubes, but I think crappie like red and white more than they do um, blue and white. Blue and silver. They're actually blue and silver. And we got this um, spoon right here. It's, um... 20, yeah, actually it says on the package here, 22 gold plating. I don't know if 22 gold plating is worth a lot of money, but it's still gold, which is pretty cool. And it's an odd-looking spoon. I mean, it just looks like a hunk of metal, really. It's a Field and Stream brand, made in USA. I used to be subscribed to um, Field and Stream magazine, and I have one of their jackets that I haven't worn in a while. It's like a hunting jacket. Last but not least, probably one of my favorite items in the box to see some, this is, I can't, I cannot speak today, which isn't really different than any other day. These, um, speed snaps. What I really like about these snaps is that you can just easily clip them on your hair. I'll compare a regular snap to one of these snaps. Um, what I like about these is that getting snaps in a box is out. Normally, when you're doing, like, um, MTB slam, you, you have to cut your line and retine on the lure, and that takes a few extra minutes. Well, with these, you can just literally just take one off, slip it on there, and you'll be ready to go. What makes 
if you're doing like an MTB slam with like a friend or something, it makes that uh, I can't I can't speak today. It gives you an advantage, basically like a two one two minute three minute advantage. Then plus you got your dope magazine, and that's about it. And one of the things they're trying out is um to do in a tournament where you have to catch like a six inch panfish in order to qu and post it on Instagram, a twelve inch trout. 14 inch bass, 16 inch walleye, 18 inch everything else. But one of the problems that's going to be kind of challenging is to place the fish onto the scale and um, take a picture of it and submit it on Instagram in order to enter the um, drawing or whatever. I think that's how they're going to do it. I um, contacted Mystery Tack Box on Twitter to make sure that hey, do you do we have to use uh, scale? that's on the box or can we just use any old ruler and they said it has to be the one on the box and I said well that's gonna be kinda tricky to keep the fish still and then have to take a picture of it so I guess that's the challenge part of it really anyways that's all I have to say um, don't forget don't forget to leave a like and subscribe um, make sure to go follow my Twitter where I post stuff like that it's right there just like I it's, it's going to be like a picture right there somewhere. I don't know. Anyways, I guess it's been another episode of um, Teals and Reels. And anyways, oh, wait a minute. I'll be right back. Got this dope. Oh, dang, I got water over me. Got this. I should just crankbait at the camera. Dope crossbow. Thank you for watching our episode of Teals and Reels, and peace. Oh, that went flying off into the woods. Crap. Um.